Well, hi! So, today's video is actually going to be a time capsule video. I've seen a lot of people recently do time capsules where they leave a message and ask questions for their future self, and I just thought it would be kind of a neat idea, something that I could watch um, again five years from now on my birthday, March 24th, 2019, and just see what's happened in the five years since I recorded this. First of all, happy birthday! You're 33. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Are you happy? Have you figured out what that even means yet? Have you met someone yet? Boyfriend? Do you have a husband? That would be exciting. Because that's something you certainly thought you would have had at this point in your life. And it's something that, you know, you fret about frequently. Fret. Who uses the word fret? Are you still... Or have you gone somewhere else? If you continue with your current trend, you're probably somewhere else. But this job has been a little bit different, so maybe you're still there. If you have moved somewhere else, are you still friends with anyone there? Do you stay connected? Because you should. Because the people there really help you through some hard times. Did you ever go travel? I know you've thought about that a lot as well, but it's, the idea kind of scares you a little bit. Or have you settled down? Have you bought a house? If you have met someone, have you had a, a child? I guess that could happen in the next five years. <laughs> if so, congratulations on being a mother, because that's something you really want, and you've wanted for a long time. If not, it's okay. You still have time. <laughs> You're only 33. You still have time. Just remember mom. Mom started at 30, so you still have some time. Don't forget that if you are a mother, you really want to be a stay-at-home mother. Hopefully that's something that you're able to do. Did you ever find a way to channel all this creative energy that is like exploding out of your head right now? Because right now that you can't do enough to keep the creativity at bay. It's just exploding out of you right now and you're not exactly sure what to do about that. Do you keep, have you continued making videos, whether for YouTube or just for yourself? Did this whole blogging, YouTubing thing turn into anything? Were you able to grow it into something? Or was it just, is it still just a hobby? Or have you moved on to something else? Was it just a phase? If it is, that's okay. Right now you really enjoy it. And if you find something later on that's even more enjoyable, then I'm happy for you. Where are you at in your spiritual journey? Because the last year has been crazy and things have really changed a lot for you. Right now you identify as an agnostic. Is that still the case? Or have you changed your tune? Have you found belief again? Or has your doubt just compounded? Have you chosen to reconnect with religion of any kind? If so, I trust your judgment because I know you take these matters very seriously. How's the relationship with your family? Is everyone all living across different parts of the country? And if you haven't talked to your siblings in a while, give them a call. They're some of the most important people in your life. So make sure you keep those relationships strong. Right now, you feel a little isolated, being the only one that hasn't paired off. Well, except for Michael, but he's on his mission. Michael, goodness gracious, Michael. He'll be 25 when you watch this again. 25. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's hard to believe your baby brother is 25 years old. What? How are mom and dad? Are they doing well? Do they have like a zillion grandbabies? <laughs> because they probably do by now. <laughs> I'm sure they love it. Do you still live in this apartment? Please tell me now. As great as this apartment has been for you, it's time to move on. Hopefully that happened relatively shortly after this video. Have you paid off all of your debt? Have you paid off your car? Paid off your student loans? If you stayed on track, you should have by now. That must have been a great relief though if you have. Hopefully you've gotten a little bit better with your money. <laughs> if you haven't gotten out of debt completely yet, keep working on it. If you're not in debt, Try not to get in debt ever again, because it's awful. How's Christina? She's the person you're closest to more than anyone. Aaron. Aaron will be... 10? You love him so much. I put this blanket down because I realized I was blending into my bedspread. Video shooting fail. <laughs> Have you been out of the country again yet? If not, you really need to plan that. Don't ever let your dreams of traveling go. There's so much to see out there. Try to go see it. And if you can, see it with someone that you really care about. You still have an iPhone? Or have you switched to something better? Is there something better? I bet by then there will be. Have you gotten involved in theater yet? Because that's something you've wanted to do since you graduated from high school and you still haven't done it. That's definitely a goal I want to do in the next five years. So if you haven't done it yet, 
You need to get on that because it's something you really want to do. Have you gotten more on top of your health? That's definitely something that you've been trying to work on for a long time. And I know it's hard. Don't let yourself go. Don't get complacent. Keep working on it. Your health is one of the most important things. So make sure you take care of yourself. Just remember that even if you haven't met all the goals that you want or things aren't exactly the way you want them to be right now, just to keep trying because there's so much to do and life can be really good. And don't forget that because you're feeling pretty good right now. And hopefully you'll be feeling even better five years from now when you're 33. You're still young. You still got a lot ahead of you. So don't forget to enjoy the journey about finding the awesome in every day. I hope you still have that attitude. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't forget to love you so that you can love others. Happy birthday again. Bye.